Well, I, I collect ideas, so I, I have like this little chest inside my head full of all the little tiny fragments of ideas, that, uh, of things that interest me. And when it comes time to write a novel, I need a few of them to come together to form a big enough uh, kernel to, to uh, f you know, make an idea that's large enough for a story. So in the case of L'Enfant du Lac, I had a few. The first was uh, this idea of an abandoned house. And I'd ha carried this for a long time, but then I was sent uh, an email forward a few years ago about a, an apartment in Paris, actually, that had been locked during the Second World War and only just reopened and was still filled with the furniture and artwork and accoutrement uh, of, of the previous residents. So I, that was one piece. And the other piece was a very famous uh, missing child case in Australia, the Beaumont children, about three siblings who went to the seaside in 1966 and uh, disappeared without a trace and 50 years later uh, now um, to this date nothing has been found of, of those children. So I, I had these two ideas and when they came together with the location of Cornwall the, the idea for L'Enfant de Lac was born. Sadie is my contemporary character. She is a, a detective with the Metropolitan Police in London and I wanted to write about somebody who was quite different from me. So I love books and libraries and the smell of old paper. Sadie's not like that at all. She's not romantic. She's very unsentimental. She, her, her major purpose in life is to solve puzzles. Um, I do actually enjoy that, but <laughs> that's what drives her. So she's, uh, the police work is, is perfect for her. Um, and as, as I mentioned, she's on leave from her regular job because she's become rather too close to a case she'd been working on in London. And her superior officer has said to her, look, for your own sake, you need to get out of London for a while. So she goes to Cornwall and stays with her grandfather. And uh, although she's supposed to be avoiding anything to do with police work, that's where she stumbles upon this unsolved case, this cold case from the 1930s. And she can't help herself. She has to get to the bottom of what really happened.